Okay, folks, uh, a Dremel is a, a high-speed, uh, low-torque drill. They use a handheld device made out of a plastic here. It has an LED screen on the back here with a plus or minus for speed. So if I turn it on, you'll see you can really ramp it up or have it quite slow. Um, and it consists of a chuck here made out of metal um, and there's about literally 10,000 million different things you can do with it. There's a uh, so grinding stones, uh, buffing wheels, uh, sanding discs, uh, where have I got it? Cutting, cutting wheels here, they're quite good uh, in different diameters. Um, as well as all sorts of polishing and other things. Uh, so I'll just show you an example of how it works. You use this uh, little chuck here um, to open it, open it up and let's put in a cutting wheel which you just do up tight. Get that off there and then uh, just so happens I've got some really light modelling foam here I should be able to cut into. Uh, just like this. There you go. That's an example of how it can cut. Uh, let's try a grinding wheel. I haven't actually used a grinding wheel on foam, so I'm not sure if it will just burn it or not. Good experimenting. There you go. So that was uh, not too bad at a slow speed. At a high speed, it would probably burn that material. Um, there's also uh, many other attachments for it. And uh, I actually happen to have two of these drills. There's this one here, which is actually made by Dremel, uh, which blew up in about three months after I used it for some carbon fiber work. It still does work, but the uh, speed settings don't work. So it basically goes either on, or sorry, off or uh, full pelt, which isn't very useful. So this one here, which was probably about a third of the price, built, uh, bought at Super Cheap Auto from, made by Rockwell, I think it was $45. Annoyingly, it does use a slightly different size chuck to that one, so the tools are slightly incompatible, but you can manage to get around it by uh, swapping the chucks over. And uh, physically, they're both just a, a handheld drill. They've got very similar designs, I guess. Um, they both have a, a stop there to, to stop the chuck from moving. Uh, both have ventilation to let the motor uh, breathe, I guess. Um, both have a speed dial at the back. Both have a hook to hang it um, and a power cord. And I guess uh, on the inside, they're pretty similar too. But uh, I'll wait till the uh, proper autopsy to see what's on the inside. All right, cheers.